Did I not just say this? Wet and plant in soil. Did I not just say Supply that? Supply with water and sunlight and watch them grow. Right, so we left James like this. The windows were slightly down, so hopefully the condensation isn't too bad underneath. Ooh, my goodness. They look like they're gonna snap. Are they bent? Yeah. Welcome to a new Lodge vlog. Yes, I'm back in shorts. You, 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 trotters? Trotters out of way. I'm back in shorts, why not? It's and sunny, I'm, it's bright, it's I'm, cold. Exactly, I'm fully dressed up for winter still. <laughs> well, you have got a, you actually have got a Christmas jumper on. It, well, I was going to say, the beauty of buying this it's a Christmas jumper. jumper from Next is that it's actually not Christmas. It's got... Um, reindeer um, and Christmas trees. Stags and trees on it. <laughs> you can call them what you like. So, it's reindeers and Christmas trees. I'm calling them stags and is it a Christmas trees. Is it a Christmas jumper, guys? So I, I think can still is. wear this when it's nice and cold. So we've got lots to do today. I've got to put the bird spikes back on the front because the birds have literally pecked them off. I've got to fasten the... Um, when we Before we left, the drain on the shower had popped off and I couldn't get under far enough to basically secure it on. So while we'd been away, the um, the team on, on site, they've come in and done it, hopefully. Um, so I left the panel sides off on the side of the lodge. So I've just got to quickly nip under, see if they've done it. And if they have, I've got to screw the panels back on. Then we've got to drop something off um, at the post office. We... Well, we, might, we might not have to do that today. Might do it tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Um... We're going, we're, going go going to we're going for a walk to burn off some calories because we're going for a three course meal at our friend's tonight. Very light meal. Pea soup and um, Tuscan uh, chicken. Yeah, sounds very nice. And parking. She's never tried parking. No, it's our friend Lisa. Lisa too, we call her because obviously we've got two friends called Lisa. In fact, we've got three friends called Lisa. Um, but we've got Lisa one, Lisa lollipop um, and Lisa two. Who was Lisa one? No, Lisa, Lisa lollipop is Lisa one. Eh? So we've got two. And Lisa two. Well, our friend Lisa, who we've known for years, oh yeah, yeah, is Lisa three, but she's yeah. not in the vlog, so that it's, Lisa e. it's less it's less confusing. So we've got we're going to Lisa two's tonight anyway, uh, for a meal. I'll probably have a little drink of red wine. She's she's been she's into she's red wine, tasting. red white prosecco and beer. I'm like I'm on a diet. You she's like, to... you're not dieting tonight. You we, everything. We've got a diet. <laughs> we have got a diet. I've still got six pound to go. My tits still a, wobble and my belly still wobbles. Very so. nice evening with friends tonight and. Um, We've got some things to catch up with on the laptop. We've got some things we need to um, sort out, some plans that we've got, some people we need to email, and... But before all that, we're going to go for a walk to the beach. I feel stressed just thinking about it. How um, your legs cope in the My uh, legs are never cold, winter. ever. My legs are never cold. Shirt off my back if you ask me. Spend every penny that I have to make you happy. What's mine is yours, that's what I'm here for. If you ever need someone, someone who really cares, I'll be up before the sun and meet you anywhere. No What's on your mind, I'll make time If you ever need someone, I'll be there Right, we're back to our walk. I'm making the King of Farts an Earl Grey tea and I'm going to have one of these Bound to Triple Treat ones. Um, the Galaxy ones are my least favourite so far. Um, the Snickers are my favourite, but these Bound to ones are quite nice as well. A couple of hours later and another cup of tea and coffee being made. Uh, we're just catching up on a lot of paperwork that we haven't done for a while. Um, obviously there's still some things you know going off with Nick's mum and stuff that um, Nick is having to sort out and his brother and their family and stuff. Um, whilst on that subject, obviously we're not going to mention it too much on the vlogs. It's all that me and Nick are talking about off, off the vlogs. It's all that's happening, so... Um, we're walking around, we were on his walk today, we were reminiscing about Nick's mum and thinking about when she was here and, and thinking about the, the good times and obviously for me and Nick that's, you know, it's still very big but we don't want to keep going on about that in the vlogs. Um, you know what's happened and you, I'm sure you can imagine what our life is like for us at the moment. Um, but we show you um, the other parts of our lives. Uh, but I did want to just show you these, we have this lovely card from our friends Sandra and Steve. And I wanted to show you this one because I've never seen these before. My mum had seen these before. The card 
actually turns into seeds, which you plant. The seeds, if you look in the paper. If you look inside the card, you can see like these are seeds, flower seeds. So when you're basically ready for chucking the card, you tear it into little bits and plant it in a plant pot, and then it grows wildflowers. Thank you for taking it up as usual. Yeah, but you were explaining you explain it. It turns so, into seeds. It doesn't turn into seeds. The seeds are in the damn thing. So it gives you the instructions on the back there. So you um, receive the card, obviously, tear up the card. Did I not just say this? Wet and plant in soil. Did I not just say that? Supply with water and sunlight and watch them grow. So we're going to get a nice pot at some point for the decking, because if we put it in the garden, the rabbits will just eat it. Little shites. Um, we're going to put it in the um, garden, uh, sorry, on the decking, in a nice pot, um, and hopefully watch those grow over the summer. Uh, so I really like that one. And we also got a lovely card there from our lovely friend, Wendy. So thanks, Wendy. Put that back for me, will you? Hello. Did she, she did put a letter inside it as well, but I've kept that as a, like a keepsake. Uh, so we're sat at the um, desk, just catching up on some work. Um, we think one of our neighbour friends is coming around uh, shortly just to do, uh, um, discuss some stuff, to help Nick with some stuff. And um, she made me have a glass of wine. Um, I might be having one. Then we're What's going next to Earl Grey? our friends, uh, Lisa and Ian's, and uh, bless her heart, she's doing a three-course meal for us tonight. Just starting with what? I'm just pulling her face. We all three-course meal. We've not had one of them for a while. No. So pea soup. Pea soup. She's starting with Tuscan chicken, and then we are providing the oh, dessert. Shite. We haven't got the custard. No. And are you going to say that? Have we got any in, in cupboard? No. Oh well. We. You Crap. may have seen a few times on our vlogs, we keep introducing Lisa, because she's from down south, to things that she's not had before. So you saw just before Christmas, or just after Christmas, it was pie and peas, which she really enjoyed. So this time, it's parking. So apparently this is a northern thing as well, I didn't realise. Um, oh, it was upside down. Uh, parking, well this says parking slab cake. We usually have it around um, bonfire night, um, but you can eat it whenever you want. We were going to get some custard with it because Lisa kept saying, are you sure you don't have custard with it? Which you can, but we don't usually have custard with it. Well, we'll have it with a cup of tea. Yeah, we haven't got any custard. Oops. Um, so uh, we're going to have a cup of tea now. Oh, crap, we haven't got any wine either. You opened one last night? I'm not taking an open bottle of wine. Yeah, but we're going to drink it anyway, so... There's an apothic red in there, we'll take oh, that. There go. Right, an outside job. Nick's doing, just screwing these panels back on here because the leak is fixed, which we had before Christmas, is that right? Yeah, they've put a prop now on the drain so it holds it onto the, the sump. Yeah. So I just need to now strap these boards back on. We don't want rats and things getting under. Whilst we're out here, are we going to get James ready? We need to. Do you want to go and get key? Yeah. Right, so we left James like this. The windows were slightly down, so hopefully the condensation isn't too bad underneath and uh, may have some mould on the top. But we've got to go back tomorrow to sort some more things out, back over homeway. So we're going to go, uh, hopefully, fingers crossed, give him a big run tomorrow. This tyre has gone down a little bit, so we need to put, pump that up and we need to reconnect the battery. But uh, first, we'll get the cover off. <laughs> Let's have a look at the state of James. Ooh. There's no water in there. Uh, I do see a big spider there. Well, not too big, but uh, right, let me just open it up. Oh no, got to do it with a key because the battery's not on, obviously. to work with the key. Try this one. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. Let's have a look. No, oh, that's not bad at all. It's been worse than that when we've left it over a weekend, so that cover does a, a treat. I'm just going to go get some antibacterial wipes because there is a bit of um, mould that comes on it. I'm not even sure it is mould, I think it's just more sort of dust and things. You see it on the uh, gear knob there, it wipes off very easily, so I'm not sure. Right, let's see if he starts. 
straight away. Right, tyre pressure is um, sorted out. The uh, brake discs are, oh, it's moved pretty easy. The brake discs were a little bit corroded from the uh, condensation. Just gonna have a little so we're drive. Just gonna, yeah, we're just gonna drive it around the block and then bring it back, because we're gonna go home in it tomorrow. We've got some uh, some stuff to sort out back home, so. Uh, Off we go. Uh, that's two outside jobs done. I just need to do the bird spikes, but I'll do that. Another day. Um, a couple of days time when we're back. There's Joe. Ooh. There. There's his neighbor. We're gonna say hello. <laughs> Right, she was actually on her, on her way to... Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, with that thing you just put in oh. the back. <laughs> um, she was just on her way to our lodge, so we Thank are now on. going round and turning round quickly and then coming back. Right, it's a couple of hours later or so. Our, our neighbour came round and I knew we'd have red wine and we did. I actually really enjoyed it. We've drunk it all down now because we were going to take it to Lisa's. And now we're diving it. We'll have to drink, take a bottle of Prosecco or champagne. We'll take champagne. No, we'll take, we'll take no, a bottle we'll of we'll red. Champagne. We've got some more red. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. Don't panic. Whatever. Don't panic. Anyway, before we go, I've got loads to do now. I've got to perform. They've got some more of the stuff that we got from um, Disneyland Paris when we when we went. Okay. The last bottle, I think. Shh. As a as always usually happens, we had company then. Uh, my mum rang, my dad rang, my sister rang, and loads of people text, so I've got to reply to it. But anyway, that's be beside this beside. Um, I just want to show you this what our um, lovely neighbour just brought around for us. Rituals remembrance candle. How nice is that? I'll show you properly tomorrow or in the next vlog or in the second part of this vlog when I open it. Um, that's lovely. We opened it quickly and it's it's such a nice thing. It's very much a little bit like the one from um, Bath and Body Works that's down on the left of yeah. the little cage. But, but the you, best thing about it, you can replace the candle yeah. when you burn it off. You light it and you sort of like remember. I think it's like to be like remember and you. There's a wishing card in it and a metal holder. But I'll show you properly when we open it tomorrow. We've got a little bit more time. Right, let's, let's go around. Let's introduce Lisa to parking. Yeah. Hello. Hello, Blossom. Blossom's here. You've just had a drink, haven't you? You're all wet. Beautiful Blossom. And Charlie's over there. Charlie's not as fussy, but he um, just stays there and keeps himself to himself. Blossom likes a fuss, don't you? Mm. Oh. Hi, Charlie. Blossom loves a fuss. Um, we just had our pea soup, which was beautiful. We thought it was homemade, and I was like, wow, this is really Excuse nice. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it was apparently Tesco finest. I need to get some of that because it was beautiful. Nick's just, hello, Nick. I'm just sorting out the window cleaner. Yes. And um, we're just waiting on our Tuscan chicken. She stole it from Instagram. Don't That's what you do. You steal yeah. all your recipes from Instagram. Yeah, you do. I get inspiration from there. I don't rip it off like, like Lisa, like recipe by recipe. Don't be rude. Awesome. You never have this problem in our lodge. I'm so sorry. Lisa's realised she's not got no, a, sorry, a caught no. screw. Oh, no, no screwdriver either. No, I bought a. Uh, <laughs> We're trying to open a bottle of wine. Emergency! Emergency! Um, <laughs> what about a. Uh, hold on. I can chisel it away with that, but you might have bits of cork in it. You could always go back to our lodge. You can walk around. Right, we had a bit of a malfunction. The bottle cracked, shoving the knife in. Lots of glasses in it, so we're filtering it with a Mrs. bit Hinch. of linen. Mrs. Hinch, <laughs> bit of linen. There we go. We've, at least we've got the wine out. Yeah. Oh, I look pale. Right, we're back in the lodge. We've just walked around the woods. Shy to self because we heard lots of crackling in the bushes and things like that. So we didn't actually get a chance to update what Lisa thought of parking, but she said she loved it. It was a bit like a Kipling's ginger cake, she said, which it is, to be yeah. fair. Um, she gave us it with ice cream that I think she had in a freezer for about two years and it was rock solid. It was very icy. <laughs> and um, yeah, she gave us a, a nice sympathy card from, from her mum. Bless her. So um, we'll see you in the next scene, which will be the morning, because I'm off to bed now. It's about 11 o'clock. It's eh? far past my bedtime. It's which is exactly 11 o'clock, yeah, actually. Um, see you in the next scene. Yeah, we're going to bed now. And um, tomorrow we've got a nip hole. We've got some paperwork to do over the uh, Leeds way. And then we'll we're back, back here we'll tomorrow back to night, but we're going to give James a gun run tomorrow. So um, we're going to take the pump out just in case the tyres go down. Are we? Yeah, we are. Right, so see you in the morning. Right, it's the next day. We're rushing. Have you updated the vlog this morning? Nope. Oh my God. Right, so we're rushing because we have to be in Wakefield for 12 o'clock and it's just coming up to half past 10 and it's an hour and a half there. So we've literally got a rush. We're actually oh, meeting my yeah. cousin. Um, we're meeting my cousin, I'm out of breath from running around. We're gonna meet my cousin, maybe go for a drink at a pub, we're actually going to the pub tonight with Lisa as well. And um, get his paperwork done, 
go to the pub over there, maybe have a cafe or something like that, and then come back over to the lodge. It's Let's all go. rushed today, and then when I come back, I might, if there's time, put the bird spikes up. There's no time for that. Right, an hour to run. Just thinking, I wonder how many times we've done this journey over the years. Thousands, and how many probably. miles we've clocked up. Yeah. Well, it's about 150 miles. No, it's more than that. It's about uh, 150, 160 miles from the lodge back home. And we've done it for five years, maybe four or five days a week. Not every time, but no, no. Maybe, maybe three times a week on average. So a lot of miles and a lot of petrol used as well. So uh, we're using James today because we have to um, swap the car. We have to swap Parker in July or August. Um, hence why in a couple of vlogs back we went looking at new Kias. So we are going to have to at some point decide what month, depending on the lead time and what car we're going to get and how much we can afford. So that's one of the jobs that we've got to do in the next few months. And Lee has picked the most bumpiest road in the whole of East Yorkshire to drive on just as I'm updating this vlog. So I'm shaking about like a shit dog. Actually, you picked this moment and this road to update the vlog when you knew it was the uh, shittiest road. Excuse me, when I started this vlog you weren't on this road. You could have gone straight on. So <sighs> there. Right, one hour to go. Right, we've done all those bits and bats. We're actually on his way back to the lodge now. The M62 is closed because of a crash, so we're going the uh, York way. And um, Nick's just realised we're going to pass MacArthur Glen. So he's going to call him because he wants some more ritual smells. Um, it's a top up. I think we should get one for in here as well. The car scent is really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We need to get replacements. In fact, uh, the car scents yeah. for rich, uh, rituals are really, really good. A lot better than the um, Bath and Body Works ones, which don't seem to last very long. The rituals ones last at least six months. Yeah. These last a month, in yeah. that. So, um, we're going to go there. We're going to call there. We're, we're, on, we're very close, so why not? Um, and then um, heading back over to the lodge. Might get some new khaki shorts since these are starting to wear. Yes, Nick's got the shorts on again today. I completely forgot they've got a next outlet here, so I'll just have a little peruse in there as well. Nick needs the loo. Right, we're having a much round rituals, but I can't find any refills. I'm looking for what kind of refills? You need the Karma one in that, in that the, range. Oh, I think yeah, it's I there. there. Yeah. And this then is the um, this is the car. I want the refills for yeah. the refuse. There we go. Right, that's what I'm getting. So um, it's the, what's it called? Holy Lotus and White Tea uh, Karma for the car. Do it what's, up. what's this for? That's a diffuser mister. The actual kit? Yeah. That's cheap for £9.80. Yeah, no, there's no way that's £9.80. Oh, wait a minute. And then um, you get the uh, refills. So will they fit in our diffuser? Yeah. Mister. That's very cheap. It was just supposed to be a very quick stop for a car. I've been pretty fast. Sent. Ben Sherman, Rituals, and where's your other one? You've got some from Gift Company as well. Gift Company one, put that in as well. Goodness so. sake. Well, we're going back to the lodge from York. It always seems like the longest journey ever. I feel like I've been driving for hours. We have. Um, I've just unpacked the uh, Rituals car scent that we got. Uh, we're not going to keep it in James, it's too good for, for James. It's, it needs to go in Parker, but there we go. That is the strongest smelling car air freshener you'll ever smell. And we've got the Karma one, and it lasts about six months. Unlike the uh, Bath and Body Works ones, which last about a month. But they do, they, they do smell nice, but you've got to get lots and lots of refills. So the next time we go to Florida, we will get, yeah, we'll get, we will get quite a bit. But hiccups. We will get quite a bit. Um, but they don't last long No, all. they don't last long at all. I mean, the oil on this one is still squidgy inside the plastic, but short a pin in it, and then I mean, dribble down the front of the car, it's it's not gonna last. But these, literally, they're like gel, and they're open to the air, and they last, like I said, for six months minimum, don't they? Well, the last one did, definitely. Your dad still got his, and he got his a year ago, in his car. Oh, oh my God. Lots of to and fro in today in this vlog. We're back at the lodge, but we're going back out again. Because um, we're off to the pub. We've already been to a pub today. Um, we met um, Nick's cousin and his auntie um, today, and we didn't get around to vlogging because we were having catch up and chatting. And um, we had a little bit of salmon and potatoes. A, a, a galaxy thing bar. So we just got back. We're going out now to meet Lisa and Ian. Um, are leaving the camera, we're having some time. Yeah, we are. Yeah. But I'm, I'm going to take a bounty. I'm going to have a cup of tea at the pub. I don't care. We'll make sure I order mine before you order yours. I had enough red wine and stuff last night. Not a gin. We'll see you when we get back. Right, we're back from the pub and we're going to do a... Um, oh, wait, watch this one. Where's watch? 
Watchers. Yeah, it's the Weight Watchers, isn't it? And Hello Fresh. Um, oven baked ratatouille risotto. Um, we're not going to do it in the oven. No, we're not going to do it in the oven. Nick's going to do it in a pan, and we'll just um, get air fry it. The veg ready. He has to put in the air fryer. So uh, that's what's going off at the moment. Here's the, all, all the other ingredients: um, lettuce, onions, pepper. Risotto rice, ris oh, and that's for tomorrow. It's a four person one. Great. Let's um, see. In a normal oven, it should be 20 to 25 minutes. Right. On. Uh, broccoli. 20 to 25 minutes? Yes. Yeah. Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay, Put it to 180. On. 20 minutes. Oh, so the, the light doesn't come on automatically. There we go. Ta -da. Oh, it's quite high. Never mind. Right, the risotto rice is in. Just waiting for Nick to do some uh, boiling water. Then we bring it to the boil and uh, just let it um, boil for a while. It's been a while since we did our um, salmon risotto, firecracker yeah. salmon risotto, isn't it? We yeah, should do long, it, actually. Long while. Maybe we'll do it when your mum and dad come next week. Yeah, maybe. We did want to make uh, Lisa it at some point, but she's allergic to fish, so I'd probably poison yeah. her. So, uh, just need the, the, the water, water, water and vegetable stock um, into the risotto and then bring it up to the boil, pop the lid on and we've got to wait for 20 to 25 minutes then until the, the water is all absorbed. Ooh, we want a sizzle. Right, so wait a minute, I need to get some, um, some of the stock out of the thing. There we go. Right, we've just got to bring it to the boil and leave it for 20 minutes. Wait a minute, what do you do with that? You put it on top and it's done. Oh, okay. You just interrupted me flow now. It's not much, is there? For 530 I suppose, calories. I suppose rice does swell up. It has got like loads of parmesan in it. So... I'm hungry now. I'm, hungry. I'm a bit hungry actually. Right, well, let's I'm a lot scoff. Hungry. Let's scoff. Welcome to the next day and a very clean kitchen. I've just cleaned it up. Ooh, some bits here that I've missed. How bad of me. Um, so we've had to relocate the um, toaster. It's a very exciting update. We've relocated the toaster there uh, because of the new big air fryer. It looks quite neat and tidy actually. It's probably a good thing that the toaster is next to the kettle. You think that looks neat? Yeah. That's going to be difficult to get in. Well, we'll find out tomorrow when we make some turf. Turf. And I've also been cleaning this cupboard up. Um, getting rid of some old hoodies that I've had for years and I've left Nick's here for him to sort through. Well, I'm not getting rid of, any, rid of, rid of any. You might need to. Why might I? Um, actually, that would look good. Why is your face shiny? Shiny? Yeah. Oh, moisturiser. What to get rid of? No, that would look good with what you've got on, maybe. Mm, can do, apart from the cross hatch wording's worn off completely now, it seems. Just get it on. Um, I'm going to open this when we get back the Remembrance Candle, which I have a lovely neighbour got us. But Where are we going to put it? Um, well, I don't know. I need to open it and have a look. Maybe well, when it's burning, it can go just, on the well, table. When there, it's yeah. not, it can probably go directly under the TV. Yeah. We're going to nip out for some lunch. A little bit of a shopping. We've got a shopping list. The right list. Yep. Yeah. And then uh, we'll head back. Right, we're on his way. Um, I've got to get some silicon sealant so I can put the bird spikes back on the front and some screws so I can put those shelves back up. Well, not back up, but up. Uh, and then we can move some of the crap off the uh, the cabinet shelves that... Um, I'd originally bought the shelves to put the internet router in there, but it's not going to fit, it's too far away. We also need some butter. Butter, Nivea, silicon sealant, screws, what else? Lunch. And lunch, yeah. Just not having much luck today. We've come to Marks and Spencer's Cafe, but they've run out of pots. Run out of pots? Right. Run out of pots. So they're serving everything on paper plates and, cu and paper cups. They need some Still more, same price. They need some better places down at Kingswood for they do. Some, some more choices. Just quickly getting some honey as well while we're in Marks and Sparks. We like to put it in um, natural Greek yogurt, just as a little treat after his meals, don't we? It sweetens it up, doesn't it? All done? Yep. Great for receipt. Right, we're just coming to one below the uh, cheapy shop and uh, we are just uh, stocking up on Skinny Dreams. I've got chocolate toffee bars and the peanut ones, which are my favourite ones. Nick's got some silicon sealant and... A bit of a thin chew. Well, 
And we're just looking for some screws, although we're not going to find it. Oh, I might find it here, I suppose. Picture frames and things. Are you sure you need more clothes? Mm -hmm. For this price? I'm having them all. Just need to do my land. Nick's got some uh, t-shirts. You have seven, to uh, seven fifty. Seven fifty each. Item and place it you on have to do all your area. own um, scanning and checking out and all sorts of whatever. Detagging. Yeah, detagging and everything. Every time we come in, we end up missing a tag. Right, screws now. Eat. Large screws, a quid. Well, I only need. They're perfect. There you go. Perfect. Right. And Nick's bought some more shirts because he ain't got enough. I bought them yet. What I'm gonna do. Right, last shop, and then I want to go by the lodge and rest. In fact, I might even go to the lounge and have a cup of tea if we can get back in time. I doubt it, would it? It's, well, what time? Two, we've no chance. Yeah, I can. In and out quickly. Oh, no, I'm watching Dick Glass, never mind. Don't be uh, rushing me. I want good luck. Here we go, short section, which is what I came in for. Lee's buggered off, so I don't know what he's looking at. But um, they're a bit too chino y. Let's have my mooch. Right, on his way back home, it came out for me, I wanted a new smart shirt, got nothing, couldn't find anyone. Went home with nothing again, like yesterday. Going home with three bags full for Nick. Although I did get some um, some new coffee bags to show them when we get back. I got t-shirts, two pairs of shorts, got a pair of shorts in Nick's. Um, so I'm in a right um, retail therapy, aren't you, this last couple of days? Yeah, and Just there's a damn rattle in this car and I can't find it. You know, yeah. when you, get, you know when you get a car and you get a squeak and you can never find out what it's coming from? Well, there's one down on the right-hand side near the passing with the driver's door, and it, what it does it when you drive, you can't hear what it's coming from. Yeah. Can you hear it? I can, I can hear it. You might not be able to hear it. So we're going back to the lodge. Nick needs to get his telescopic ladders out, and we've got some birds packed on the top of the lodge just to keep the birds from like um, sitting. Um, the seagulls are little shits because yeah. they know that that's a nice spot to sit while they can watch like the fish jumping out of the lake. Yeah, so when we first got the lodge without those spikes, they used to sit on the front of the lodge and we, we used to be sat there on the sofa and we'd just see like bird pool coming down, down from so kamikaze shines. Yeah, so we got those bird spikes and they work perfectly. Apart from the fact that the little swines know and they go up there, crawl up behind it, grab onto it with a beak and peck them off yeah. until they actually come loose. So, so there's about three off. pieces that's come loose. But now I've got my new ladders. Yeah. <coughs> So we're going to try those when we get back. Right, we're back. We have a feeling these ladders might not be long enough to get to the top of the lodge. Um, Nick's just getting himself prepared. Um, pick this up. Let's fall over. Oh, that noise is all the... Um, things that we're keeping it to um, make sure it doesn't fall over but it did fall over somebody's doing some work behind me so we put all this away before we left we need to get it all back out and um, get the deck in looking a little bit more normal this has flown all the way over here from this table and um, in fact, we've got somebody coming next week to do the um, decking, so I don't know whether we should be doing this or not. I'll ask Nick whether we should just leave it when it comes out because it's all green and they're coming to uh, clean it all and clean the whole lodge. Oh, we're just going to put all decking furniture back, but should we leave it until the decking's clean next week? Yeah, he might actually do it for us. Yeah, that, what? What, the decking furniture? He might clean it for us at the same time. Right, let's see if this fits. Oh, yeah, it does. I thought it was too small enough. Not quite, but it'll do. Right then, I'll put all the furniture back. Perfect. I honestly thought they would not reach. Moment. These are the bird spikes that have come just, off. Just, oh, ladders. Be careful with your fingers with these ladders. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Ooh, shit. Blimey. I told you. Careful. Is that, uh, not... Let me put my phone bottom. It's not that. It's, it's these that are locked in. Does that one not come up, maybe? Because it's I got this it's on faulty. it. Got this on it. No. Ooh. I bet it's faulty, you know. Shall I press some as well? What do you do? Push the, uh, the middle one. Inwards. The middle one across. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Hey, I'm not just a pretty face. Reach. They look a bit flimsy at top. Oh. 
that. I'll need you to hold that there while yeah. I shimmy up. Well, have you got all your stuff? Or you your tools? Should lower it down once more. Well, let's just like move it so I can see how. I mean, it's all right. Where's all your tools? There, on the table. Oh. Ooh, my goodness, they look like they're going to snap. Are they bent? Yeah. You're supposed to be holding it. Well, I must, well, I know. Right, last couple. So we've um, done ones on the end, in the middle, and then there's a couple more to do here. Are you impressed with the ladders? Yeah, definitely. Aren't you? I am actually, yeah. And then they'll store, hopefully, in, the, well, somewhere. Another job done, bird spikes done. Now I think you need to tidy all your crapola. Oh, 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 oh. One more job. What? Three shells to put up. Oh, go on then. Um, I'll start getting this shopping out that we bought. Um, we didn't get really much, just a few bits and bats. We just stocked up on skinny whips. So we've got the chocolate toffee bars and chocolate peanut bars. They come out of one of those with a cup of coffee, actually. Um, Got some more uh, oops, toothpaste as it was only a quid. Um, and then these are the bits. Oh, yeah, got some um, Taylor's coffee bags, got some decaf ones. And where's the one? Oh, there. Got these ones to try because I didn't like the green ones. This is Flying Start Coffee Bags Roast Number no. 5. Um, so I'll try those. We've got some more Pinot Noir. I got my um, Pinot. Pinot Noir. Pinot. Pinot Noir, whatever. Pinot Noir. Um, some more. Yeah. more That's what you draw. Uh, you mucky bugger. You've used them last. So, Nick cut these down the other day, as you saw. I you may have saw. Because I didn't have a saw Yeah, they're from Ikea. So, yeah, they don't look very pretty at the end. They're going against the wall, so it's fine. Yeah. I'm going in the cupboard. So, right, so, three of these I've got. Yeah. If I put one here, for a start, it won't fit, but if I put it high up here... Well, why not just put three on this wall? Well, if on I put it high up there, I can get the router on it well, and get it out and of the way. And then two on that wall over there. Yeah. For those potions and lotions. Yeah. Goodbye. What? Goodbye. I'm not getting involved with that one. I've kind of done. It's amazing how, how much shite can accumulate in I know. just one cupboard. Right, well, I'm, we're having a kind of storage clear-out day, aren't we? Yeah. For now. You get on with that one. The, uh, but the one that he's doing is those top ones. In oh, fact, I, I think what we should do is put all the top stuff down the bottom now because the kids are grown up. So we always put things like bleach in that one so the kids could never get access to it. But now they're not they're not daft, you know what I mean? Not There's a lot more space in the bottom. We can have all pots and glasses up there. Maybe. And then all these with all jars and things. Mm. Go crack on with it. Yeah. Right, so let me show you what I've done. I've got some things for gels. Shelves. Yeah, so there we go. So I've got two there and one up there for the router. And I was going to put the iron on it, but I didn't want to risk it because I only held on with two screws. Yeah. But let me get through the back. There we go. Can you put that on for me? It's not for potions and lotions. What the hell is it for? I don't know, but not that. There we go. Three shelves for three pots. And then we've got all the stuff on this rack. You're probably wondering why I've got a webcam inside the boiler cupboard. Because... On the inside of our boiler, there's something called an expansion vessel and it's on its way out. And we have to keep this little valve here, as you can see it there, we have to keep that topped up and the expansion vessel takes care of that. So while we were at home, I had a webcam looking directly at that so I could decide whether to turn the heating on and off and make the water expand. It's very complicated, but that's um, well how we've had to get around it until the new part turns up. Quite impressed with that. Two days of random shopping trips, and I managed to get all this. Three pair of shorts, some light jogger shorts. Some next undies, used me voucher that Lee's mum and dad got me for Christmas. These were 7 50 each, these four here, from um, Matterland. We had a £20 voucher when Lee took some back some jeans, I think, before Christmas. And then we got that yesterday at the uh, designer outlet from um, Ben Sherman. So, little wardrobe replacement there. Oh, and then also, yesterday, we got all these as well. So we got the uh, car air freshener from Rituals, which we've got in um, in Parker now. We've got the Jing, which is my favourite Rituals scent. And then we've got this one, which is the same as the one that we've got in the car. Actually, no, it's not. This is a new one. It's called um, Haman. Can't read it. Haman, something like that. And then I got the same scent as that in a full um, air freshener. They're on clearance at the designer outlet at the minute. That was £20. That was £22.50, but you get the fancy bottling with that. And it's the same fluid amount. And then 
these have gone up extortionately. These used to be five pound, they're now seven ninety nine each, unless you buy two for fifteen or something like that. And we got English, English pear and freesia. So I need to transfer all them into my smellies drawer in there because I'm running short. And then um, when we came back to the lodge, I actually refilled all the um, diffusers so they're all full again. Everything smells brand new. What are you squawking at? Oh, I can't get through. There's a chair here. I filled up our um, sort of skinny, whip, skinny whip and treat box. I'm trying to push a chair while carrying all the rubbish. I think we've got enough for a while. That will la not last you a week. Hardly. Uh, these are my favourite of these triple treat things. The Galaxy one was the nicest for me. But what do you want? What were your tea? I want you to help me get this rubbish out of my hand. Skinny whip? Yeah, go on then. Right, it's a little bit later. Nick is making the risotto again. Which we realised yesterday when we made it, we should have just made the whole thing and then I portioned know. it Why out. Why didn't we do with that? It was just uh, crazy, I was crazy. Um, I'm going to open this remembrance candle so um, I can have a proper look at it. And uh, show you guys as well. So this, again, as I said before, was from our neighbour and it's a rituals one. That's what it looks like inside. So... You get the gold um, candle holder. It does look a bit like that one, which is from Bath and Body Works, I think. Um, and the candle itself. Like that. And then you get a lid. And then you get this out. There we go. So you get a gold lid. What? We didn't get any oil again. Whatever. Not butter. Um, so this says, in memory, there is no goodbye. So that's nice. And then there's a little card in here which says, um, light your candle in, cer in a ceremony of special remembrance every day for 40 days. Many cultures all over the world practice this spiritual routine during the period of mourning, for it is believed the soul needs 40 days to help guide it on its journey of departing the physical world. So... Uh, there we go. Well, we'll shall I light it? Yeah. There we go. Day number one. Got this one. Nice drop of Pinot Noir. Where do you get this? Oh, in Asda. Uh, yeah, three ninety nine a bottle. That. Ooh. We had that the other day when our neighbour came, and we we're like, "Oh, this is lovely." And she's a right wine connoisseur. She must have thought, ooh, that's three ninety nine a bottle, that. And well, she did say she, she likes did it. She did say she liked it, yeah. wine's just as cheap, and that is delicious. So it was actually Joe who uh, bought us that Remembrance candle Nick's talking about. Um, so we've got the Remembrance candle on. So let us have a little toast to Mumsies. To your mum, who would love to be in this lodge right now. She would be loving, loving having a glass of wine yeah. as well. To your mum. Um, mm. It's a very light, very, very light one, that, isn't it? That's what Pinot Noir is, isn't it? Mm. Mm. We've fallen back into the habit of watching Star Trek every night when we have a meal. Now that, for years? Ha, well, I know we have. Now, but we go through periods where we don't watch it and then we go back and watch it again and again and again. And then it gets to a point where I think, oh, I can't do it anymore. I've got to watch something else. So we've finished watching all the Happy Valleys, as you know. So. Um, our friends Lisa and Ian have recommended a new show. Well, I don't. In fact, it's not a new show because it's on season two, I think, um, on Paramount Plus called Your Honor. It's set in New Orleans, so that should be good for us to see that city that which we absolutely loved. Um, the poor Vera lost it right yeah, to hip. Vera's doing uh, much better now, by the way. Um, you may have seen her if you follow Theme Park Baz. She was in one of his vlogs the other day. They met up in Disney Springs. Um, what it for drinks? Yeah, they did have a couple of drinks. So, so. You throw me now. Oh yeah, so it's set in New Orleans. It's Brian Cranstock or something like that it's called. Him out of um, Breaking Bad. I'm not 100% sure of the um, story, but I think it's something to do with he's a judge or something. And that's all I know really. Well, but definitely busy in New Orleans. That's <laughs> but Lisa sure. said it, it shows like all Bourbon Street and all the places that we went. So it'll be quite interesting to see. <laughs> what? Ugh, what the heck? Who's put that away? You put it away! I don't think I did. Wait a minute, you were claiming you tidied up and did everything earlier. That's come out of the um, dishwasher like that. It's because they were rammed yeah. in. 
So the dishwasher couldn't get in. So we're going to have our risotto and sit down here with the candle on and we're going to watch this new show called Your Honour. Episode two of Your Honour. I'm really enjoying it. Nick's got bored as usual. He's on his phone. It's stressing me out. I can't watch it. It is a bit stressful and nervy. So if you've not seen that one and you like that kind of sort of Happy Valley tense stressness, um, this is another good one. Well, so it's, just like, it's just like it was when we were in New Orleans. Exactly the same. <laughs> Please, so, guns, shooting. We're having some toast and a cup of tea, and then I'm going to finish the vlog. Well, sort of said, now I'm going to finish the vlog. So thanks for watching today, guys. Hit the like button, click the notification bell, drop us a comment below. We're having an Earl Grey, aren't we? We are. Um, in a couple of days, my mum, dad, uh, sister, and the girls are coming for a couple of days because they've not been for a while. I'm going back to the apartment. Um, so we need to think of something nice and interesting to do. We might go to Hull because there's an adventure um, crazy golf there, which is like an indoor thing. And it gets really good reviews apparently, so we might do that. So anyway, that's in a few days. So uh, thanks for watching. Get my toast done. See you on the next vlog. Hull? Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. Bye.